What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Oh Shane Dude Jackson, back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Jump. SPK finally kick the beat. Now, guys, you know I moved to Africa to deal with the goats and the chickens because I got tired of gunshots. I'm telling you, especially with you rappers out there. You know what I'm saying? I don't want no problems, cowboy. You know what I mean? You seem like you didn't kill about 14 people. I don't want no problems. And we already know the baby caught a body at Walmart a few years ago. So more gunshots. But anyways, what's going on now in the streets, family? Well, cowboy, you know, he rose with, you know, um, the late great King Von. As we know, he passed last year and he has a, a, a project what it means to be king that was recently uh released now the baby i believe uh had did some work with king von um i don't know how close their relationship was they were cordial but what happened was is that nba young boy had a project that also dropped on the same exact day as king von what it means to be king now we all know that it was um, NBA Young Boys artist that got into you know situation with King Von and, and and that's how King Von got killed. So we all know that you know the NBA Young Boy and Dirk it's a real big beef and the baby had worked with both artists, right? And you know the baby had previously said, "Listen, I'm not you know picking no sides." You know, you guys have, you know, beef and stuff like that. But what happened was that when the baby worked with NBA Youngboy and his project dropped on the same day as King Von, Cowboy felt that he is picking sides, right? And I kind of want to read this post and then we'll, you know, basically play this video. And it says this Angry music, the baby, how you got respect for my cousin in the dead? But got a whole tape with a jigger dissing him. Respect, I to leave that ish alone altogether and pray for both parties. <clears throat> Safe, if that's how it is, you bumming. You a lifestyle's weirdo mascot. Sell your soul and integrity for a bread. You a bitch. Can I get a ooh sound effect? So I don't, you know, like I know NBA young boy. I don't know if he dissing Kings Von posthumously, but probably so. We know that they had an issue. But the, the baby was actually on that album, right? And I want to also play a little bit of this Instagram live of Cowboy uh, kind of going on the baby and then we'll come back and talk about it. Nigga, same ran around South by Southwest in a diaper. Same with muscle suits and, 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 and man, put everything he do. I don't, I don't whoop niggas out at shows all type of shit. I ain't post this shit. The streets will tell you. Whoever the Book me, whoever the fuck book me at NIU, whoever the fuck book me at uh uh the other motherfucking college, who y'all know we got that bitch rocking every time. Ain't nothing make the internet. Cause we real steppers, bro. I don't give a fuck what you talking about, man. I don't get up here and say none of this shit. Right. Wow. Since when did a, did a nigga run to the internet for validation? Like y'all <laughs> like, like Come on, bro. This shit is opinion based, bro. Y'all mad about a comment, bro. Y'all mad about comments. Y'all ain't did shit to in the streets. Come on, bro. You's a hoe. Y'all niggas is bitches, bro. For real, I been did this shit. The baby was running around in a fucking diaper, bro. You been sold your morality and your integrity a long time ago, nigga. What are you talking about? Now you tough. Now you tough, nigga. I got real war scars. What are you talking about, nigga? You talking about a self-defense, Talking about a self-defense. Let's talk about unsolved murders, bitch. What the fuck you saying, Y'all not on shit. I've been moving with muscle. Y'all ain't got to see my muscle. Because we taking shit out in real life, What the fuck you talking about? Y'all don't get indicted on this Talking to y'all, My mama. All right, guys. So you heard what happened. Now, the baby has kind of talked about it, like, on this Instagram. Kind of summed up what he said. Listen. He's saying pretty much, I right, King Von, he's cool, rest in peace. He stood on the business, no excuses. But listen, if somebody else is going to be there to do business with me, I'm going to go out there and do business with him too. And basically, he called all the, the, the dudes pussies and stuff like that, whatever, right? You, you internet dude. 
But I kind of want to say it because these YouTube streets work very similar, man. I have dudes that have told me like, yo, bro, I got a, I got a, a certain beef with this person and um, I don't have no problem with them. But if, if I know that it's like I can't work with the person. Right. Let's just say, for example, you know, if, if, if somebody I know I'm cool with feel some kind of way and I work with the person. It's gonna be like a sign of disrespect to them because I know how they feel about that person, right? And even though this is YouTube, this is a business, but that's kind of how it works. Now, if you that guy and I find out you working with somebody that has dissed me and, and that has happened. You got guys like that, like they, oh yeah, yeah, but we real cool and they, they dealing with dudes that have been dissing me for a minute. At the same time, those are the same dudes, you know, saying, hey, don't work with such and such, they dissing me. And it's like, okay, well you moving around because you want to get, you know, on or whatever. Well, it's kind of like, well, just stay over there with that shit. You know what I'm saying? But I understand, God, like, listen, I'm out here getting money. I'm not picking no sides. But the, the, the sad part about it is, is that you are picking sides. Like, like even in the manosphere, anybody who like, let's say come out some of the guys I know, I'll just come out and say it. Kevin Samuels, uh, Obsidian, some of the guys in 2.0 solo. I don't care how much of a problem I got. I just can't work with you. I, I can't shout you out, do nothing with you. Can't touch you. You know what I mean? Cause you know, those are my guys, right? And I, I, I gotta take a stance on that. Now, if you a dude and you out there moving a different kind of way, then, you know, from the home turf, people gonna look at you like, wait a minute. So you know this dude is talking like this about me and you still working with the dude? You know what I'm saying? But in a situation like, like the baby, where a lot of these guys, they don't really have no relationships with, you know, King Vine. Like these dudes don't really, really know each other like that, like that. They're not really close. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I, and, 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 and I get it, but you got to understand is that if you, it, it, when people got beef with each other, Hey, you can't afford to get on the albums, man. I, I just really feel that way because you know that King Vine passed, you know, the NBA young boy, they'd be taking shots at him. Hey man, you gotta go head on and be like, listen, man, till y'all work that shit out, I don't wanna be involved in the middle. Because even though you ain't this King Von, you are in the middle. Because I think that the dude got a point, like, yo, that's fake. He called him out. And uh the baby, you know, I kinda like what he doing, he like how he moving, all that kind of stuff. But bro, you know, you gotta you, you, you know, this was something that two dudes got serious beef like that, where somebody's died over it. Which happened between, you know, young, you know, uh, little, 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 little Dirk and NBA young boy King Von died over that beef. Hey, man, you got to you got to get over that because listen, who's to say you won't be next? You know what I mean? But guys, what do you think? What would you have done? Would you have still did the collaboration anyway, even though, you know, the beef between the two artists? How would you feel about that? Well, guys, let me know. It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the Slavery Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe with the bell. Check out the first company at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at all time high. I'm out.